Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you are, my name's Hermione and in today's video I'm going to be doing a clean with me because you know what I've been doing a lot of in isolation? Watching cleaning videos and I find them really therapeutic but also very motivating to actually get up and do a few chores around the house. So today I wanted to share my own with you and this is basically a deep clean but there were a couple things I didn't need to do which I'll explain later in the video, things like cleaning my oven etc. Didn't need to be done so it's almost a deep clean, it's, it's like a mid clean. <laughs> And just to let you know, today's video is sponsored by June's Journey. I'll tell you a little bit later all about that, but uh, let's start cleaning. Anytime I'm starting a clean of my house, I always start with the kitchen because it's always just the worst affected area for me. So as you can see, I'm getting rid of a lot of the clutter from the sides by just putting it in the dishwasher because some of these plates really started piling up. I had a few delicate items that I needed to wash by hand as well this time, so I made sure to do that so that they could dry while I was doing the rest of the cleaning. And then it was onto the surfaces, taking everything off and giving them a really good clean. Once in a while cleaning the tiles by spot cleaning where they needed to be cleaned and just making sure I got all of the surfaces of the shelves as well before putting everything back. And you know what I hadn't cleaned for a while? This chopping board. For some reason I clean all of the boards but I never clean the outside of it so that needed a good old scrub and then I was able to move on. I give my hob a quick clean every time I use it but this time it just really needed a bit more of a deep clean, some more attention and getting rid of some of those crumbs that were lying underneath it before I could move on to the other counters where I just took everything off one by one and cleaned in little sections. Look at all the dust from the toaster! So I just wanted to make sure I got rid of all the crumbs and everything that was on any of the surfaces and when I put the toaster and the other appliances back I gave them a quick clean as well. I had this empty syrup jar and I decided to clean it out so I could fill it with vegetable oil because vegetable oil comes in such a ugly plastic packaging that I just thought it would look a little bit nicer on the side if I put it in this and reuse this really nice glass bottle. So that was just something I ended up doing while I was cleaning, not really cleaning related but uh, I did do it over the sink so it didn't make more of a mess. And then moving on, it was time to organize my spices because this drawer hadn't been organized or cleaned since I moved into the house. So for well over two years, this drawer had been sitting collecting little bits of spice dust at the bottom of it and it really needed a good reshuffle. One of the last few things I do in the kitchen is the sink and I had actually sift this a couple of days before. I love sif and the pink stuff so it didn't really need a deep clean but I did get in all of the uh, nooks and crannies. Um, the reason I do this last is just because I don't want to have to do any other things with the sink once it's been cleaned. And of course with everything going on I wanted to disinfect all of my handles as well so I did that. And last but not least, just ran the hoover over every area in the kitchen, the floorboards and the rug. And this is what the kitchen is looking like now that it's a lot cleaner. Oops. <laughs> I am not brilliant at setting the scene for these final B-roll shots. <laughs> anyway, moving on, I needed to tackle my laundry area because this was getting a little bit out of control. I had loads of clean laundry that needed taking upstairs so I could fold it. So I just bunched it up and took it away. So I folded that bit later. And I'm doing a lot of work in the garden at the moment and all the garden bits kind of end up here and the floor gets messy. So it just really needed a good old spot clean. I always put the laundry on around the same time I do the dishwasher so that by the end of my cleaning journey all of the stuff should be done and I just, you know, I had a cloth on hand so I just cleaned the top of the laundry machine as well. And then once all the surfaces were decluttered I moved on to cleaning them off and getting rid of any crumbs and bits of garden debris. 
I keep all of my plants or at least a lot of them in this room because it is very bright and sunny in here and they thrive a little bit better in here. So I just cleaned under all of the pots and I decided to feed them with a bit of plant food to make sure that they were doing well. And because I've been doing some gardening recently, although I cleaned the floor a few days ago, the whole floor, I ended up with this pile of dirt which I decided to just spot clean so that I didn't have to do the whole floor again and this is what the breakfast nook laundry area is looking like i did move in that massive antique table here for the time being i'm not really sure what i'm doing with it for the time being but it's fine right now <laughs> anyway moving on to the bathroom i start with the mirror because then all of the dust from the mirror goes into the sink oops <laughs> and then i can clean the sink after that so that there's no having to re-clean the sink. I'm using Astonish, like the foamy bathroom stuff, because I feel like that cuts through a lot of the grease and grime. I am trying to switch to more eco-friendly products in the future I have for my laundry and for my washing up liquid. So if you have any um, recommendations for a few more eco-friendly products that you can get in the UK, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can switch to those. And here I am doing the windows because they just collected a bit of dust. I don't know why my bathroom window sills get so much dustier than the rest of my house, but they do. And um, I had to clean up a few bits and pieces and declutter before getting onto the bath, which wasn't too nice, but it wasn't the worst it's ever been. So I just ended up using that foamy cleaner again all over the bath and the taps to get rid of any soap scum and those little rings that shampoo bottles like to make. And then the thing I hate doing the most is the floor, which once again I leave till last. So I just scrub that with a little bit more bathroom cleaner and a rag. Oh gosh, my voice is going. <laughs> and then I just put um, a clean bath mat down and we're all done in here. Well, almost all done. Just had to put up some new hand towels and then we're all done. So this is what the bathroom's looking like at the end. <laughs> golden retriever outside. Hello, it's day two. I put this on pause because I was waiting for some pillowcases to dry so I can change my bed. Let's keep going. So with the bedroom, the first thing I did was put away all of my clean clothes on hangers and put them back into the drawers. I did a lot of laundry after I turned off the camera the night before. I didn't want to bore you with even more laundry. So I put that all away the next day. And with that done, I could then move on to cleaning the bed sheets because it was bed changing day. And now of course I have more laundry because it never ends. Seriously, does laundry ever end? Someone please let me know. So I just put on some new sheets and I love the feeling of fresh sheets when you get into bed at night. It's, ah, it's the best. There wasn't a huge amount to do around my bedroom, just a couple of things I needed to pick up and move around, a couple of bowls to take downstairs, and I didn't really need to do much in the way of dusting off the surfaces as I'd done that fairly recently. But I did have this magazine rack at the end of my bed, which really, really needed going through because there was lots of um, notebooks and things that needed to be put into my office and just stuff that was in the wrong place. And I do love to give this pine dresser a bit of a, a polish every now and then. So I did that right at the end before moving into all of the vacuuming. And with the vacuuming done, that was the final step. The bedroom is looking a lot cleaner and tidier. Okay, so I'm in my sitting room and actually I just redid this space last week and it's still perfectly tidy. I also tidied up the old sitting room as well and I think there's not really much I have to do in here so I'm just gonna run the hoover through it very, very quickly just to show you that I did in fact make sure the whole house is clean. <laughs> And 
this room is still definitely not perfect because there's a big pile of stuff for the charity shop in that corner, but it's fine for the time being. This will get a makeover soon. So let's just uh, vacuum the floor. Something I really like once in a while is this 1001 carpet fresh stuff. You just spray it on and it disappears and it makes it smell so good. Ah, the hallway. Now this didn't look too messy. There were just a few things that really needed putting away and doing around here. Like these chairs, they needed to go elsewhere so it wasn't an obstacle course in my hallway. So I just put them back in the sitting room for the time being or with the other donations until I can get out and donate those again and I put away a few of my DIY supplies in the cupboard that we shall not look in because, um, well, we really don't want to look in there. And I'd used a floor cleaner to spot clean my carpet about a week ago and it made this horrible mess. It made it worse than it was. So I ended up just getting a little bit of Ecova washing up liquid with some warm water and a scrubbing brush and I scrubbed over it and I'm telling you that did the trick. So that's what I'm going to do from now on if I have a floor that needs a bit of attention. So I just did a couple of the patches and um, let it dry for a while. While that was drying, I did clean some of the baseboards because they weren't looking the best. Where I kick my shoes off, they get a little bit muddy, so they just needed a slight touch up and then I could hoover. And um, that was most of what needed doing in the hallway. And just to finish off, I put away a few of the things that I don't really use as much, like thick winter jackets, and I put them in storage upstairs and took some of the things off of the surfaces that need to go to my nan's house and then finally gave the surface a very, very quick clean with some window lean to get rid of any smudges and fingerprints. And the finishing touch is putting back the rug that I washed a couple of days prior. It had dried and now that will stop my hallway from getting too dirty again. I hope. This is the finished hallway and it feels a lot nicer in here. And once I've finished cleaning, I can finally sit back and relax. And something I've been loving doing recently is playing mobile games and I really, really like June's Journey. They're very kindly sponsoring the video, so let me tell you a little bit more about the game. June's Journey is a free mobile game that you can get on mobile, tablet, Amazon and Facebook and it's a murder mystery style hidden objects game which is really relaxing to play and it's very nostalgic for me because I used to love hidden objects books. I could look at those for hours and hours so this is kind of nostalgic and it's very relaxing to play as well. So I definitely recommend checking it out. You can find lots of hidden objects in the scenes and help solve the mysteries. So if you like that kind of game that's a little bit more calm and peaceful, this might be something that's right up your alley. So do check out the link in the description below if you wanna check it out and if you're thinking that this would be the perfect time to start a new game. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna be doing any cleaning this week and what you need to do around your house. I love watching cleaning videos. It just gives me a kick up the backside to get done what needs to be done. So I hope this helped you a little bit too. And with all of that being said, happy cleaning and I'll see you next time. Bye.